Hey guys, today I'm going to be answering one of the most common questions. Is Figma fully free or will I get hit with hidden costs later? I'll be breaking down the different pricing plans available on Figma and you can decide which one is right for you. Let's jump in. How Figma's pricing structure works. Figma have four pricing plans available, but Figma offer different products. So depending on what products you need, it will depend which pricing plan you choose, as well as which seat you'll select. Before we dive into the pricing plans, I just wanna draw your attention to this little key that explains the different seats. Figma offer multiple products. We usually associate Figma with Figma design. However, there are multiple products, and depending on the products that you need, depending on your role in the company, it will select which seat and therefore which pricing option and even which plan you choose. So let me just explain them quickly. Figma Jam, that's a brainstorming product. Figma Slides is basically like PowerPoint. Dev Mode enables the devs to go in and inspect your design and get all the information they need to go and code. Figma Draw is basically like Illustrator and that is used within Figma Design. And Figma Design is the main product we associate with Figma and this is where you build your websites and mobile apps. When you are selecting your pricing plan, you'll see that there's different seat options available being Colab, Dev and Full Seat. So let me explain those first. The Colab seat makes it easier to work together and this includes Fig Jam and Figma Slides. This seat is great for a manager or somebody who's just gonna view your files as they won't have any editor access to your designs. However, they will be able to brainstorm and put together some slides. The dev seat gives the devs all the detail that they need. And this includes Figma Jam, Figma Slides, and Dev Mode. Perfect for them as they don't need editor access to your design file, but they can gather all the information that they need. Lastly is the full seat, and this connects the entire workflow. And this enables you to have access to all the products available, being Figma Jam, Figma Slides, Dev Mode, Figma Draw, and Figma Design. Now that you can kind of understand the seat roles, I'll just give you example how it will work in real life. So you will probably assign a collab seat to a manager. You'll assign the dev seat to the devs that are going to build your design and the full seat will go to the designers. Now let's go back to the different pricing plans available. So we have starter, professional, organization and enterprise. As a starter plan it is free and you have access to Figma Jam, Figma Slides and Figma Design which is perfect if you're just starting out and you want to learn the program. Next we have professional and this is where we start to see the importance of seats and how they work. Now let's jump into Figma and I can show you how the pricing plans actually work. So on my account, I've signed up for a professional account as I like to have access to some of the additional features, which I'll mention in the next part of this video. If at any point you want to see what design access you have or you want to give additional access to people, there's a few ways to do this. We can go onto my admin and we can see I have four total seats and you can see from here what's an assigned seat, available seats and view seats. View seats are free so you can share your file with anybody, they're able to comment, however they're not able to have access to your design. I find this especially useful if you want to share with somebody. As soon as you want to give them access though, that is when you will pay for an additional seat. And that's when you can select between your collab, dev, or full seat, depending on the needs of the person. These are the people that have access. I have full access and I am the owner. And I'll just take my husband, Barry, for example. He has view access, so he's able to view my different designs. If I click on him, it gives me the option to change his seat. So if I want to sign him up for a collab seat, that'll be an extra $5 a month. If I want to give him the dev seat, that's an extra $15 a month. And if I want to give him a full seat, that's an extra $20 a month. And this is how their pricing plan is structured. If we go back to our pricing plan, you can see everything is listed there properly on their website. You're able to invite more users as well, and you can decide if they can view or edit. I just want to make it clear that if you say edit, it's going to sign them up for a full seat, which you may not want as that's an extra $20 on top of what you're paying per month. You can change it back to view and Figma are quite good because when they send you the bill, they will email you to say, hey, just a heads up, you've given this person editor access, it's gonna be an extra $20 on your account. So you are able to switch back. If we scroll across to my billing, you will see it tells me I have one full seat available and I have zero for dev and zero for collab, which is the way I like it and it gives me my monthly renewing fee. For example, if you want to give somebody access to your design so they can view it, I'm gonna show you how to share it 
without you needing to pay for another full seat. If you would like to share your file with someone, you can hit share and you can come in and type in their email address. You can even copy the link and you can choose, do you want them to view or do you want them to edit? Just as a reminder, if you click edit, it will charge you an extra $20 every month. So I like to make sure that I have people on view only. And that's perfect because that will give people access to view my file and they're able to leave comments so I, as the designer, can go and change anything that they request. What's included in Figma's free plan? So if you use the starter plan, you will get unlimited files, design and prototype features, three Figma files listed under team projects. And this basically means you can share them with multiple people. They're not just in your drafts, a 30 day version history and real time collaboration. The free account is perfect for people starting out and wanting to learn Figma. If you would like more advanced features, you may want to sign up for the paid version. What are paid plans for? Figma offer three paid plans being professional, organization and enterprise. Depending on your company's needs, you'll select which plan will be right for you. These paid plans enable you to have access to more advanced features within Figma, such as design systems and component libraries advanced permissions and analytics, as well as a better overall team collaboration. For example, you may have three designers and you'll sign them up for three full seats, one each. Then you may have two devs, so you'd sign up for two dev seats. Lastly, maybe you have one manager, so you'll sign up for a collaboration seat. So within the different paid plans, you can quite often customize your exact pricing depending on the different roles within the company's needs. The paid plans are perfect for freelancers who want access to more advanced features such as design systems, component libraries, and even variables. They're also perfect for big organizations. And again, they range so you can decide which pricing plan is right for you or your company. Are there any limitations to be aware of? In the free plan, there are a few limitations. The first is you only have access to three project files. What this means is you can only share three of your designs with other people. You have unlimited drafts, so you can go and build as many apps or websites as you like. However, you can only share three of those with other people. For example, if you build a website and now you want it to be built in code and you wish to share with the developer, you only have three files available to share. The next limitation is libraries. You only have access to the libraries provided by Figma, so your creativity may be a little bit stifled. The last limitation is it's not as inducive to collaboration. As mentioned, you can only share three of your project files. You may start off with a free plan and then as time goes on, need to share more of your designs and decide to upgrade to a paid version. In conclusion, Figma is a great design tool and I highly recommend signing up for the free plan as it is completely free. If you decide you would like to enhance your Figma skills or you would like to work more collaboratively with a team, you can then sign up for a paid account. Leave any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.